welcome back. I wanted to show you what I get up to on a typical Sunday and I wanted to do it in a kind of follow me round, get ready with me type style because my Sunday and this video has like a lot of different aspects to it. I've included so much stuff like what I like to wear on my body and my face, what I like to bake, what I get up to usually. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I've included a subscribe link on the screen right now and in the information box below because I upload videos twice a week. This is also a collab with my lovely friend Alex. Her YouTube channel is Alex Centoma. We've collabed before and honestly I love her videos so much. I love her so much. She's so 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 gorgeous. Make sure you guys check her out and subscribe as well. She's also done the same Sunday routine video which I'll give you a little taster teaser on the screen right now. You guys are going to love her so make sure you go and subscribe. Check out her video as well. Don't forget to tell her I say hi. There's also a little eye in the top corner of the screen. If you click on that you can find the direct link to her channel as well but without further ado I hope you guys enjoy the video to start off with my makeup I always have something accompanying me when I do my makeup on a Sunday and today it's obviously gonna be one of Alex's videos I actually have it on this little hello thing which I'll also link below it's so handy for watching YouTube and stuff I start by using a nice light base I'm loving the L'Oreal cushion foundation right now because it's really easy to apply it fades really evenly throughout the day it keeps my skin hydrated it's not too thick or heavy this is like my minimal five or six products kind of face so then I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced concealer I just blend this in with a brush under my eyes and then this palette is amazing this is what I call my Sunday palette because it has like a good range of eyeshadows bronzers blush highlight it just kind of has everything I need for a Sunday look or just any look really in one palette it's by Tarte and I'm starting off with the bronzer shade then I'm gonna use a little bit of the blush in the middle which is such a gorgeous pink color I love it and then I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the highlight on the tops of my cheek bones as well it's quite a subtle highlight but it just adds a little bit of glow I normally don't do anything too drastic on my eyes on a Sunday if I wear any eyeshadow it's usually just some sort of light shade swept all over my lids with a matte shade in my crease like I'm doing today and then I've been obsessed with this benefit brow pencil it's so 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 good it's the goof proof goof proof brow pencil try and say that really fast three times so I just brush that through my brows and then use some of my favorite L'Oreal false lash sculpt mascara <laughs> If I'm wearing makeup, I rarely leave the house without lip liner. One of my favorites right now is this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip because it lasts really long, especially on something like a Sunday where you just want to munch through food and not worry about your lipstick. And then I also love, love, love putting this Milani lipstick on top because it kind of has like a sheer finish, but it's really long lasting as well. And then my Sunday hair. I mean, I really am not too bothered about my Sunday hair, not gonna lie. So I kind of just like take it half up, half down, swoosh it all around a bit, put a little clip in, and then just kind of make it messy so it looks like I'm going for the messy thing, you know? I always like to have treats around on the weekend. So today I'm gonna make these raspberry breakfast muffins. For anyone with intolerances, just a heads up, they happen to be free of gluten, dairy, refined sugar, and they're vegan as well. I'll list the ingredients below, but it's basically like a one bowl thing. You need some almond butter, some coconut oil, then I add two flaxseed eggs, a third of a cup of maple syrup, one cup of buckwheat flour, half a cup of ground almonds, and half a cup of oats, and then a third of a cup of desiccated coconut, and some baking soda to top it all off and then I'll literally just mush it all around together in the bowl. And then lastly, I'll add some chopped raspberries to the bowl as well and then I'll put those in my little muffins. To make everything all nice and pretty, I like to put one raspberry on the top and then sprinkle some coconut flakes on top. And then I put that in the oven to bake and then once they're ready, they should look something like this, really golden, brown, crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside. They're one of my favorite ways to start the day and then I'll sprinkle even more coconut flakes on top because I just really like desiccated coconut. 
my usual Sunday outfit is either like leggings or gym kit even though I don't really go and work out on a Sunday or if I am wearing jeans I'll wear something like this with a nice flowy cute top I love this top because it has loads of details on the sleeve which I think is so so cute it's a really really unique top and then I just wear that with my ripped top shop jeans I have a bucket bag which I stole from my sister and some shoes which I also borrowed from my sister but she was wearing my shoes on this day so that kind of makes us it both even and then Duke and I normally every Sunday morning or just every morning really we'll just go for a walk and hang out he's seriously staring at my muffin having muffin envy right now but he isn't gonna get any sorry <laughs> Another one of my favorite things to do on a weekend is go to the farmer's market. Now there's one farmer's market in London which is open on Sundays. I think it's from around 10 to 2 and that's the Marlebone Farmer's Market. I love going and seeing what everyone has on display. I love seeing everyone's like homemade goodies. I love seeing all the fresh fruit and vegetables. Like farmer's markets just really, really, really excite me. I check out all the yummy different fresh loaves of bread that they have. I always end up picking up a few things and then inviting friends around and sharing it with them or something like that. And you can see how happy <laughs> all my stuff makes me. My usual Sunday evening routine is planning. I'm such a planner. I love to plan. So I put on some nice chilled music. I have my little speaker in the corner of the room. And I basically plan out every day for the rest of that week. Like my aims and goals. What I want to achieve that week. And I factor in any meetings and stuff like that as well. The other more fun thing I like to do on Sunday evenings. Is go through cookbooks and meal plan. And this is a new cookbook I got. It's Amelia Freer's Cook, Nourish and Glow. Now this is where my sticky notes come in because I actually color code like breakfast, lunch, dinner and dessert or something like that. So I'll color code like what meals I want to make when. It gets me really excited about my meals for the week. That was everything for my Sunday routine. Don't forget to let me know what you guys get up to on a Sunday. What's your typical Sunday thing? One thing that you always, always do on a Sunday. Don't forget to check out Alex's channel as well. The link will be down below as well as her video. And I will see you guys in a couple of days time with another video. Bye guys.